Hi, this is Ali and I'm Callum from the McGuinness Institute and today we're going to be providing context for poverty in New Zealand. We're going to be using data from the Ministry of Social Development and while we're aware there's many different factors which go into defining poverty, today we're solely concerned with income. The definition we're going to be using is from the Ministry of Social Development and it's any household with 60% or less than the median household income once you take into account housing costs, which are 25%. Now more than ever, New Zealand seems to be a class-based society. But most of us never see poverty because we never leave our sectors of society. And it's very easy to ignore cries for help when you can't hear them. This tower of 50 blocks represents the entire population of New Zealand, with each block accounting for 2%. If you were to separate the entire population into two groups of those in poverty and those not in poverty, it will look like this. These red blocks represent the 20% of New Zealand's population currently living in poverty. This is roughly double the poverty rate of the 1980s. Now I will illustrate the relationship between poverty and ethnicities. If you are European Pākehā, the poverty rate looks like this, with 12% of the European Pākehā population living in poverty. If you are Māori, the poverty rate looks like this, with 25% of the Māori population living in poverty. This is double the rate than of European Pākehā. Pacific people face a similar scenario with 26% of the Pacific population currently living in poverty. As you can see, there are huge disparities between the ethnicities and poverty rates. And in a fair society, all of these rates should be the same. Now I'm going to show you the scenario with regard to education for people aged 65 years and younger. For people who have received a tertiary education or a postgraduate qualification, their poverty rate looks like this. It's only 10%, which is half of the overall population. And now I'm going to show you why. If you've received a formal qualification, but have not received a tertiary education or a, or a postgraduate qualification, your poverty rate will look like this. It's 28%. For people who have not received a formal qualification, their poverty rate looks like this. It is 47%. As you can see, education goes a long way in reducing the poverty rate. However, not everyone can receive a formal qualification, tertiary or postgraduate qualification. Many people have to drop out of high school early because they have to support their own families. These towers illustrate how people living in a first world democratic country can still be living in poverty. Poverty extends far beyond the homeless people we see in our urban centres and we can carry on ignoring this or we can work together to start fixing it. Thanks for watching.